Hello everybody, I'm Kevin and thanks for tuning in to my video. Today I want to showcase my flight simulator project that I've been working on over the past few months. It's not a completed project so there are future changes and modifications to come. I like to think of it as a work in progress or perhaps even a prototype. It's nothing spectacular as far as the aesthetics are concerned but it is a fully capable and functional uh, PC flight simulator. Unfortunately, I will not be able to demonstrate all of the components today because I'm trying to keep the video as brief as possible, so uh, stand by for future videos. Uh, I, but I do want to place the uh, major emphasis of today on the performance engine that's driving the flight PC, uh, flight uh, PC simulator, as well as uh, demonstrate a uh, circuit flight or a takeoff flying the traffic pattern and coming back for a landing. And I, I guess the, the other thing is that I'm using a gaming laptop PC and I am uh, needed that because of its portability. I don't have any enormous space to put up a desktop PC just for a game. Uh, so I'm using uh, Asus Predator Helios 300 and I'm not getting anything uh, from Asus for demonstrating this. I'm just something that I used and I thought it was a good one so I thought I'll put it out there and let YouTube see uh, its performance. Uh, unlike the other laptops of the past, this one comes with uh, an Intel uh, i7 10th generation processor. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM and it's expandable to 32 gigabytes, how about that for a laptop. Uh, 512 gigabytes solid state drive with an empty slot for an additional solid state drive, as well as a two and a half inch portable drive. All of that is built in. It got six gigabytes of NVIDIA uh, graphic memory. And I think it's a very capable uh, computer with the high definition 144 Hertz uh, IPS display. And the real caveat of this here system is that it only costs $1,306. So I think that's great, especially since I can run Flight Simulator on the ultra-high settings. I have uh, X-Plane 11 installed on it. I have uh, DCS uh, Flight Simulator, and I really don't want to get into that, but nevertheless, I have DCS on here, and I have X-Plane as well. So, and I still got you know a fairly decent amount of uh, room to spare. I installed all of the upgrades that came with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and. Uh, let me take you out there and let you see what it's all about. Hi, I'm back. We're going to do that uh, uh, departure flight uh, traffic pattern and come back for the land and do that complete the one circuit uh, NFSX 2020. Uh, come on over, Stephanie. My daughter's filming this here for me. I really appreciate that. She's a photographer today. Uh, this is the system that I said it was running on. It's the Asus Helios uh, 300, the Predator. Okay, and this is the only computer system that's running this whole, uh, com all of these components right here. Okay, I have here a desktop aviator, uh, throttle quadrant, honeycomb yoke. I got the Logitech pedals. Okay, my instrument panel is being ran by uh, Air Manager. And then I got the Comstack which is actually prop wash uh, simulation as well as the GPS. But the GPS I have on that screen because it doesn't work properly in FSXS 2020. So uh, we already, we already got the clearance from the towel We've been cleared to take off. So I'm gonna increase the throttle here, release the brakes and off we go. So you should be able to look at it and see the performance is you know, pretty good, there's no real lagging or anything like that. That may come into play when it tries to load a segment of the uh, uh, area. But anyway, we're in the green. Everything is in the green. We got uh, proper lift off speed. So we up in the air. And I'll go ahead and trim my plane a little bit. We got a positive rate of climb. We'll raise the flaps. And just to take it outside, uh, you can see this is the Tampa area that we're flying around in. That can 
right-hand side. Okay, so anyway, like I said, I'm pretty satisfied with this here. It does operate like a uh, flight simulator is supposed to. Trim it a little bit take so I can go virtually hands off as it continues to climb. I'm going to climb up to 1,000 feet and that's the uh, traffic pattern around here. So here we go, reaching the altitude, spraying the nose down. I'm going to control everything with the, uh, just the throttle. I'm going to reduce the throttle to about 2100. And we're going into our uh, crosswind. Camp is the area that I live in, by the way, that's why I chose this location. Now we're going to head up east just a little bit. This is Hillsborough Avenue coming up. And once we pass that, we'll go in and turn uh, northbound. This is the uh, downwind lane. You can see the airport is over there. Let's slow it down a little bit. about being the numbers. Oh, no, not quite, almost. And I'm gonna go in and give it that first notch of flex. Okay, so the virtual power is not doing uh, everything that it's supposed to, but I'll go in and click on this to get the uh, full stop. base Question 
because you can't do this in the real world when you're flying, but we can, that's what makes it great as a flight simulator. You can see it right here. I'm going to add that second notch of flex. That's a little bit below my uh, speed here. I'm going to keep it around 60, 65 knots. Turn final. Here we are. Well. At full flex, keep that speed right where it's at. Then, Happy lights are not on my side right now, but that's okay. There you go. There go one red. Looking for two red. There we go. Pass the slope. And we'll put the first touch down. You know, just a little bit short. There we go. Go on and uh, I think I can make this first one. So, off the runway. Complete stop. Set the brakes. Ready for flex. And we will taxi to the ground. But I'm going to go on and let it go right here. That's what I said I was going to do. I thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you in the next video. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, make a comment. Constructive criticism is always welcome, and thank you for watching.